Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. I'm Deborah Anderson, and we're here in Moreland at Amp Face Community Kitchen, which anyone can rent. It's a commercial kitchen, and you can make stuff that you can actually sell legally from out of here. So check it out if you have any wares that you'd like to put on the market, because some of our grocery stores are kind of low on stuff. You need to make some. So we're going to make some mini cheeseburger meatloafs and a side of fingerling potatoes. These are new. I, I love fingerling potatoes and I can't wait to show them to you if you haven't seen them yet. And I'll tell you where we came up with this. I hate meatloaf, I do not like it. But we got this Tavala oven and I was hoping it would help me eat a little healthier, but it's a meal plan where they send you an oven and then every week you get a meal is two of these little tins and it'll have a protein and then a vegetable in the other one or a grain. So, and then all you have to do is take the seal off, sometimes sprinkle on a little seasoning and then you scan it. The oven, you hit scan and it has a little barcode. Uh, it's a QR code really. And then you just stick it in and 20 minutes later, it's all cooked. I mean, it was easy. And Doyle and I found that we could share one. They were kind of expensive, but if we shared, it wasn't too bad. And they were, most of them, very, very healthy and still delicious. Well, anyway, Doyle had one to get this uh, meatloaf one, which I don't like meatloaf, but I said, well, let's try it. And I loved it. And I think part of the secret of it was that because there are many, there's a lot of edge, so there's not that loafy texture in the middle. So I think... That might be the secret. So we worked and worked until we could figure out how to make it ourselves. And so we saved all our little Tavala tins so we could use them to make our little tiny meatloafs. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, both in a tin and if you don't have a tin, you could use like a cookie sheet. So we'll do both. It's much easier in my Tavala oven. I'm a little nervous because we always use the Tavala and it switches back and forth from steam to baking to broiling. So it's pretty fancy. We're just gonna bake it at 450. So what I'm doing, I got a pound and a half of beef. Now this is two thirds of a cup of milk. This recipe for meatloaf might seem very familiar to you. I don't think it's very, atypical, other than it does not have ketchup in it because I refuse. So then I got about 12 saltines I've crushed here. And I need my little measuring cups. I need a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, which do you know, I had to buy a new bottle I had had the same bottle probably, probably longer than it says to keep it, <laughs> but it just lasts forever because you just use a little, but it really adds a, a depth of flavor, doesn't it? Is this a tablespoon? I only need a teaspoon. Oops. That's a half tablespoon. Here's a teaspoon. Oh, luckily I hadn't filled it up just right. Oh, I just missed I had an intuition. So it's pretty strong. Do you know it's probably what makes Chex Mix so awesome? If you ever make Chex Mix, you have to use it for that too. Anyway, you never use very much. And next I'm gonna put in some minced onions that are dried. Now you could put in fresh onions, but since they're not gonna get cooked, I actually prefer the minced because they seem to have a little flavor and they'll also soak up some of that grease so you don't have so much mess to clean up. So just as many as you want. Then a little bit of salt and pepper. Shall we use the, shall we use the Mexican salt? The salt from Mexico? Let's do about a teaspoon of salt. That'll probably be awesome. And since I cut myself earlier, I am not going to mix it with my hands like I do normally. So I brought this mix and mash with me. That's how I'll get it mashed up. And let me make sure I got everything. Yeah. 
Now, once we put it in the tins or in the sheet pan, we're gonna cover it with about a quarter cup of cheese for each little meatloaf. I can usually get six to eight out of this. And you don't have to be 100% exact on the size, but I would say it's about a half a cup per serving. That's a noisy bowl. So I'm actually gonna spray these just in case. Oh, these are coming apart great. It's not always this easy. <laughs> now, um, if I were using the Tavala oven, I would put in the fingerling potatoes at the same time. But we're gonna make them, we're gonna steam them in the microwave. So, you would have fingerling potatoes and a meatloaf. Now, Doyle and I share the meatloaf when we buy it from Tavala. But when we make it ourselves, we each get a whole one. I just like to tell the truth. I really am not a meatloaf fan, so this kind of excites me that I like it. I'm gonna get a half cup measuring. Yep. I'll tell you what, this eyesight thing, I'm not enjoying getting old with the eyes. I always wondered why grandmas did that. So I'll mush these down. I'm gonna put them in just a regular oven this time. In our tavala, it takes about 20 minutes. I'm gonna check them at 20 minutes at 450 degrees and hopefully that's what they'll be done. Cause you don't want uncooked meatloaf. Now, if you were gonna make it in a sheet pan, I put it here. I would, I'll just do it. Spread it all out and then cut it into sections. I would say let's make four sections at least. I've seen other places where they make it into little loaves, but I think the magic of this one, if you want it to be the way I like it is that it's not very thick. So it ends up being kind of like just a really tasty hamburger. Okay, I'm gonna just split them and separate them. I'll probably leave enough room to put my other tins on here too. I just wanted you to get the Tavala experience even though we're not using it. I love it. I love that oven. I always wanted a steamer. That's why I had to have it. Because that's why I love taco, it's grande, taco grande. They steam all that stuff. I only know because I had a friend who worked at taco grande in Lyons. So I'd go to visit, learn a little bit. So we want them kind of flat, like little square Wendy's burgers. Okay, these two flatten out. Probably should have sprayed that, and I didn't. These will cover up the bottom about most of the whole bottom. See, you get about the same amount, pretty close. I maybe could have made another one with these, but someone will get a really big one. Now, each of them, I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of cheese on. Then after they're done, I like to put a little bit of dill relish on them. And that came, that idea came from Tavala. They send a little cup of dill relish with the meal. And they also send a little sauce for the side of potatoes, but it wasn't good enough for me to try to figure out how to do it. Okay. These are ready. I'll put them in the oven. And when we come back while this is cooking, we're gonna steam our fingerling potatoes. So when we get back, watch for that. Trust Rogers and Associates Insurance to keep your peace of mind through all the seasons in life. Whether you're cozy at home, memory making with your family, on an outdoor adventure with the top down, 
floating on a boat. Or in the middle of harvest, we can customize an insurance plan that's perfect for you. For all the seasons, we've got you covered. Call us or visit us online to learn more today. United Way of Ellis County supports initiatives and programs that help our most vulnerable residents achieve and maintain good health. From a safe place during an abusive situation to providing nutritional supplements for cancer patients, United Way fights for the community's health, education, financial stability, and most importantly, you. Anyone can make a difference. Join our fight towards a better community today. The team at Homestead Assisted Living is a proud supporter of the Hayes community. Located just west of the Sternberg Natural History Museum, Homestead is a warm and welcoming community where residents receive compassionate care from licensed professionals. If you're curious about senior living options for yourself or a loved one, make Homestead your first call. Our kind and courteous staff would love to show you around and answer any questions you may have. Call us today to schedule a tour of Homestead or visit us online at homesteadofhays.com. Hi, welcome back. We've got our little meatloafs in the oven and now we're going to start our fingerling potatoes. And I just bought these in a little bag and most of them are just the right size. I'm going to look because I want to make sure they're not, like this one's super big. So if it's too big, I'm going to cut it. Um, now, we usually make these in the Tavala oven, but another thing that I found at Dylan's one time was they have these like black square dishes full of teeny tiny potatoes. And then you steam, it's like that dish is a steamer. It has some sort of seal at the top that has some sort of steamer quality. And it makes them, you only have to cook them like five minutes and then let them sit. It just makes them so creamy. So this is a new thing I was interested in. And I happened to say, Doyle, I think years ago I had some of these zip steam bags that came in something and I didn't want them. I know I didn't buy them. So, but I said, let's try them. And they're amazing. So uh, I did see the coupon in here expired in 2009. So, so they, they've been okay so far, but I don't want to push my luck. So I got a pound and a half of potatoes is what we're dealing with. And this one does not look good. These say they're pre-washed. I went ahead and washed them again. Just think that one's ugly. You're good. I like the little red ones. Why is that white? I think that is bad. Oh, is that the same one? Okay. This one's a little big. Now the ones in the, that, Okay, so after you steam them and let them sit, then you just put two tablespoons of butter in it and it came with the seasoning and it was amazing. And just the creaminess is what I couldn't get over. So you can't change those potatoes. You've just got to buy it and use it in a reasonable time. I don't like you. Oh, it reminds me of like Lucy quality control on her when she was on the assembly line. Okay, you're good. These are teenies. Okay, let's throw out those ones. Then I have a head of garlic that I cut in half. I'm gonna put my potatoes. I'm gonna start to do the butter first and then I'm gonna, I think I remember I'm not a huge fan of this garlic press so I cut it in half because it's not very big. Not a fan of this garlic press, but I forgot to bring it. So <laughs> this is what we got. Okay, so we're just gonna season them up. Now on the ones in the little brown black bag, you don't season them. You just, this is just gonna be what it is. Oh, this gonna be hard to clean. Also, I lost my train of thought. 
Okay, so I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon of rosemary. I like to take the whole rosemary leaf and crack it, and then the oils are really fresh. And, like, this is not, it has a little bit of rosemary smell, but when you smash it in your fingers, it really has a lot of rosemary smell. So then we'll do some pepper. The time on these is gonna vary a lot depending on your microwave. Now I have not microwave cooked here at Aunt Faye's. I'm gonna do, start with, at my house, it's seven minutes. I'm using this same salt and I need a teaspoon. Ah, uh, that looks awesome. So I'll start with seven minutes and if they're not fork tender, I'll throw them in for a few more minutes. So, I think I got everything. These are special made so that they steam in the bag. I don't understand what's different about them, but when you saw it on that, if you get that black thing, it's like there's a, a secret line in the seal. Okay, these will go until we're done. So I'll let you know when we come back. It's about caring for the people we serve. We're neighbors. We're friends. We are fellow Kansan. We've got the best minds working on our network because you deserve the latest technology. You can count on us to be there with our local customer care. We don't settle for less than the newest devices, plants, and accessories at honest prices. We're proud of our roots and excited about the future. We're keeping Kansans connected. What a girl wants in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, and quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance and Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Gallery Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th Street in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. Welcome back, our meatloafs are done. And so is the potatoes. Now I let them set, well, I've cooked them for seven minutes, and let them set a minute. And now I need to be really careful when I open them. There's something about the way this seals that that's how it steams. Ooh, it's still steaming. So let me get a little serving spoon. And look at my cute little meatloafs. They look more like a burger. I think that's why I like them. They turned out really good. See so yeah, how it looks like there's crispy on all the sides. And this is the side that comes with them on my chavalas. It's like a toaster oven. I didn't want you to think it was like a whole oven. That's enough. I'm getting so full. Okay, so let's give it a taste and let's review what we put in them. So the potatoes just had a little bit of butter or you could use olive oil. And then it had some garlic, some rosemary, salt and pepper. That's about it. And then this was two, a pound and a half of beef, an egg, some milk, crackers, Worcestershire, and salt and pepper. Let's see if it turns out as good as in the tabala. It is done. Oh, I forgot I want to put dill relish on it. I, I bit into it and I went, it's good. And I went, this needs dill relish. So don't forget your dill relish like I did. I just want one bite of that. Then, see, I'm going to make, yeah, they, the fork went right in. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The thing about the steaming is it just makes them so creamy. I don't know how it does it. Oh, here's my dill relish. Let's get a little bit of that. I'll use the other half of my fork. And the cheese on top, it just kind of makes it, I guess it's cheating. It's not really a meatloaf. It's kind of like getting another cheeseburger. And we're Americans, we love that. So if you want something a little different, or if your kids don't like the meatloaf like I didn't, give this a try and see if you can stretch your meat dollar a little more. And come back next time when we're on local flavor. Mm. Much better. <laughs>